comes back. So should we start with an easy question, Paul? Um, what caused the mud flood, mate? <laughs> just an yeah, just an well that's the the beauty of it because you still have people who do not believe in it which is fair enough you know what i mean we all have our our different beliefs opinions and it always changes what opinion i had like three videos ago i might have changed today and then there's some videos that i've made and i forgot i forgot i made them because obviously it, it time flies as, as we say so what caused it for me well i made a video looking enough you might answer that one. <laughs> Let me just find it. Now, if you think about in the sense of mud flood, uh, well, what do you use mud for in the first place? In beauty terms nowadays, they use it as a first mask and it's used to cleanse. So the video I basically made was one God's cleanse, another man's um, basically purge. And in that, I was just asking, is it an actual reset triggered by a God deity or is it? Te uh, technology by whoever runs this place to actually clean and cleanse mm. the planet because we argue all the time about what we actually live in we don't actually know what we're living in we can theorize and people got really good opinions on to where we live but if you look at the etymology and, and that's what i did in that video so mud in uh, latin means luto and luto in portuguese means morning like to mourn death uh, to mourn yeah 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 to mourn so if you think about now you got okay. something like a so mud flood mud. to cleanse to <laughs> mourn and you're wiping out <laughs> civilizations yeah exactly a lot of people yeah interesting so you, you know you know what i mean it's just an <laughs> idea mind. i had just from looking at the language that and i'm like mud flood I mean, and it's we especially it sucks out the parasites and stuff doesn't it, it sucks out all the, yeah. all the crap yeah. so that was just a, an, an old video and like you said you do one video and then when you're researching that video something will come up and you like ah oh, i meant go back to that video and i was like a year ago and you're like i forgot even i've had it and <laughs> like i said i've lost my channel since then and it's on me my black sheep stuff and it's like where'd you go so that was just my that question I ask is if it is a reset, for instance, like the biblical flood. So if the biblical flood happened and a lot of people agree it did around um, civilization cultures, they all have an epic flood, at least one, yeah. many more in the title. People talk about the Great Rift, Milky Way opening up, letting some form of liquid or water in. Mix that with mud, silt, dirt. If that means to cleanse, is that a tool that they used to clean and full enough when i keep going on about time flies i did a video called tempus fugit which means times fly in latin it's like an hourglass and the early symbol for freemasons i know with the use the compass and square but i know even earlier symbol that they used was a skull and crossbones with wings and it was tempus fugit you'll see it on certain graves so I theorize, so I'm, like I said, I can theorize all day long and I try and use evidence that I can find just to, so it doesn't look like I'm going stir crazy. And I was just thinking, people talk about <laughs> yeah. we're living in, in a firmament. What happens if it's in a scenario where it's like an hourglass type of shape, like the toroidal field? And you've seen it in pictures like the squatter man where he stands like that and his arms are up and his legs are out and that's an ancient symbol all around this realm, even in Australia. Well, think about it. If we're in the middle of an hourglass and there is a, a mechanism to drop us levels at certain points in time, well, just look how history is now. We're finding full cities completely covered. Is it just a case of something triggers this reset, mud flood reset, and you just basically liquefy and you go down a level? Like Dante's Inferno. That was just things that I was just thinking about and showing evidence for. It's like, well, if there's that Squatman symbol and that looks like plasma, but it also has the hourglass, the hourglass shape, could that be something? Yeah. And that's just, as you know, what I do it doesn't mean I'm right, doesn't mean I'm wrong. It just I'm trying to find <laughs> questions to answer. You know. Mm. Well, this is the thing. It's like we've got all these. You know theories out there you know liquefaction obviously that has 
you know, big problems just because everything seems to be level. That's the main issue. Uh, we've got the biblical flood, you know, coming in over the land and then receding. I mean, you know, you would, yeah, you would, well, I mean, we do see a lot of destruction. So, who, I mean, who knows? Um, what else have we got? Some people are talking about volcanoes, you know, and, and uh, you know, sort of stuff in the air and then rain mixing with it. Right. Um, I, don't, I mean, there's and there's also the, the mining, you know, the mined earth theory that there was yeah. just mined earth and a lot of dirt lying around, if you know what I mean, um, and, and um, cliffs that would easy wash away and then add a bit of water. Was it man-made or, you know, was it parasite-made or, or was it natural? Um, I was talking to a guy earlier, um, did a podcast, uh, Beyond the North Wind, and he threw out a theory that I hadn't heard before, and he was talking about um the time have you heard michelle gibson talk about her her time bubble theory i uh, know i don't think i have how, um basically in 1942 they did the philadelphia experiment which was apparently as far as we know an attempt at time travel and she's found links back to 1492 and just as a side note the mid midpoint is 1717 just for an interesting number um and of course, in the Philadelphia experiment, um, we're told all these people got, you know, stuck in the ship, right? They, they sort of went mm -hmm. through, but they ended up in a slightly different physical place. And so they ended up in the ship and that. So he thought, he said, well, maybe there's been a time shift. And, but it was like that. It just didn't land properly. And so half the buildings are underground. Yeah, that was, Something I think new. Richard, you know, obviously, you know, Richard, <laughs> uh, Richie basically said to me that that's why I originally, uh, when obviously you've been watching me stuff for, for a while, I did the great vowel shift. And you've had me on before about that. And that is the same period as what Michelle's talking about in her time bubble. Do you know what I mean? So it, yeah. it, there is a reset from, say, the 15th century to 18th, 19th century where they did all this. So it would fit in in the scenario of a time bubble because that is when all the shenanigans with uh, Janos, Janos, or uh, high research came into effect, the time bubble. You know what I mean? So if if, if you no, believe what Michelle yeah. Gibson, like I said, I've not seen it, so I can't, you know, answer questions on that. But if there's a time bubble that sh ties into what I did a video on called the Great Vowel Shift, like the reset no one ever heard of mm -hmm. in that period, it actually fits near enough, you know, exact in that period where I seen everything change and why they said we've gone from a, a, a flat earth model or, or to heliocentrism or everything changed in that period. Like they were trying to cover up the greatest yeah, lie yeah. ever. Yeah. So that just fits into what mm. Michelle's talking about. 